Oh! Holy shit! <laughs> Is that like your doctor's adjustments? No. Oh, excuse my language, guys. <laughs> Holy your shit! Your eyes are like watering up too. Ooh. First name's Miko. Um, I'm a chiropractor assistant. I also have a second job too. Yeah, what um, do you do with that? Um, I work at a front desk at a resort. Gotcha. Um, but what, where I'm from, California. Um, can't say where, but exactly. About and she's trying to respect her doctor. And so again, he if she tells me in the very beginning, she goes, I don't want to say that he did nothing. I do feel better. But again, she wouldn't be here if he fixed her all the way. So she doesn't want to upset him. So I totally get it. So. Um, we're trying to keep them a little anonymous here, so I totally get it. But what I want you guys to understand is what the difference between my work and a, can I even say what he does? What kind of technique he does? You want to say that either? We won't say that. Upper cervical though. He's an he upper, upper cervical, cervical specialist, okay? So she doesn't want you narrowing on him who he is. And so, and we don't want to disrespect him. And so, but we want to show you the difference between the Thera method and upper cervical. And again, we're in the same, same realm of ideas here. So that's why she's here. She respects the idea of upper cervical. She just wants to see how the treatment is different. And I'm going to show you guys uh, firsthand a chiropractic assistant who works in a chiropractic office and still works for him right now, how it's different. So uh, this is going to be a powerful video. So Miko, why are you here? What are your symptoms? Um, well, I'm here because... What's the number one symptom? I, this is the interesting one for them. The visual vertigo. I mean, the ringing in the ears, you know, is a hella annoying. And so is um, the dizziness and unbalance us a little bit. The visual vertigo, it looks like things are kind of like moving a little bit still. Um, and then also just, I said ringing in the ears already, right? <laughs> Unbalancedness still, it's still there. I still feel like sometimes like I'm on a boat, but it's not that severe as before. So I still feel like I'm a work in progress, and that's why I want to see if maybe he can help me. Because um, by the end of the day, it's, my health is more important, and I have to do whatever I can to um, help myself. So that's why I'm here. Good. And I love this. She got a second job at this resort. For why? Uh, so that I can pay for treatment. <laughs> and she gets free treatment from her doctor. Yeah. That, that's how serious it is. Exactly. And so, again, I'm not trying to badmouth him. It's just a different technique, and she is... She is at her wit's end because tell us how this started. It started from nothing. She had no tinnitus, no ring in her ears, no visual vertigo. How long ago? Uh, February uh, this year, 2020. Um, so literally, you guys, this it could be small little things. I didn't realize how small this is, but I was laying in bed. Um, I was having a tantrum. I was having a bad day. And my dumbass decided to hit my head against the wall. And then literally 10 seconds later, I got tinnitus. And then I just started noticing after a month, I'm starting to feel like I'm on a, like a boat. Um, and then I start getting visual vertigo and it's all because of that instance. So I, it's crazy, honestly. I had no idea that that could happen. I have one patient who uh, had sleep deprivation for so long, he was yelling at his wife. His wife and him were in an argument. He threw himself out the car. He actually in a moving car, threw himself out. I have a video on that, guys. Maybe I'll attach it at the end. Um, but wow. he threw himself at the car, out of the car, and rolled on the road because his brain was so, he had not slept for three days. So tantrums, she, it may seem crazy. Why would she throw a tantrum? Why would she hit her head on the, on the, on the wall? But she did, because what happens is it's not just that, it's not just that she has tinnitus now or vertigo now. She's had problems for a long time. We were starting to talk about this in the uh, exam. Yeah. And so she's had ear infections when she was a baby. She, had, she was a colicky baby. And so uh, we, I told her, I think this goes way back, and we even and we, she started bringing this stuff up. So I think this probably was a thing she was born with, and then she's been dealing with for a long time. And the hitting the head was a result of just exacerbation of what's going on. Okay. So uh, nausea all the time. Uh, yeah. Drunk person gait. I love that. What is that? Drunk, you walk like you're drunk. I feel drunk. I, I try not to walk like I'm drunk, but I feel exactly. drunk. <laughs> now, she spent a lot of money on medical quacks. You know what you guys are out there. And if, you got, if you're a medical quack, go ahead and sign in and say, you know, you don't know anything about chiropractic or medicine, Dr. Thayer. I know everything. Well, you fix her because this medical quack charger, how much money for this? This vestibular migraine diagnosis? Uh, yeah, so they are trying to figure out if I had vestibular migraines or um, maybe lymphatic high drops. I went to a neurotologist. She happens to be like the top neurotologist in Newport. Um, but anyway, they put me, they gave me this machine. It's like a balance machine. And basically they put like a metal thing in my ear and it's supposed to measure if you are unbalanced or not, which it did, but I paid $2,000 for that. No, $2,100. Oh, well, $2,100. <laughs> it was $2,100. For an exam. 
and what happened? What was the result? Because obviously you paid the $2,100 because you're like, I'd like to get better, ma'am. Yes. So I asked her, okay. She's like, well, you are on balance. So you have endolymphatic high drops. I'm like, what is that? She's like, oh, it just means you're on balance. And I'm like, okay, but <laughs> what's the cause of it? Oh, it could be anything. It could be a virus. I'm like, wait, that doesn't really make sense. And they try to get me on Xanax and diuretics. And I'm sorry, guys, I've never needed any sort of medication in my life. So it just it seems strange that I all of a sudden want to give me anxiety, depression pills and diuretics. I'm like, no, this is not the answer. There's no way. So I was like, deuces. <laughs> so I, I want to see, have you guys ever heard of this endolymphatic high drops? or vestibular migraines. Have you guys heard of this before? If you have, leave comments in the comment section because I want to hear about this because I've never heard of this endolymphatic high drops. And so uh, I find it funny. I'm now going to be treating that. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know, I'm all treating balance and, and we'll see how she does after this. Okay. So uh, tell us about the doctors you went to. Um, I went to an MD. I went to actually two. I had to switch at two MDs. I went to two ENTs and I still couldn't get an answer. So then I went to a neurotologist who happens to be an ENT plus neurology in one. And I'm like, dude, like they're not really doing None of that helped until she found this chiropractor that helped her. How'd you find the chiropractor by the way? Um, you know what? I went on Facebook groups and I talked to like probably 40, 50 people that had similar symptoms to me. So that went from like Lyme disease groups to vestibular migraines to vestibular neuritis groups. And there was just a, a few people that mentioned upper cervical. And I'm like, okay, well at this point I'm like at my wit's end. Like I might as well try it because I, I can't deal with this anymore. I so. love this girl. I just love this girl. She, you know, no wonder he hired her. He after he started working on her, he goes, "You want to work for me?" And so uh, <laughs> now I don't know if she wanted to work for him for the free treatment or because she loves chiropractic or she needed a job. But uh, she is very good, sp very well spoken, and you can tell that she's been through the ringer on this. So uh, I think we've laid enough background here. Um, let's see anything else. We have a uh, history of carpal tunnel, numbness in the fingers, low back pain in the past. Um, she has some constipation, just more like getting. Uh, uh, having trouble to get started, a um, couple tiny minor falls, um, auto accidents, a bunch of tree falls. She used to climb around the trees a lot, maybe hit her head, but I think the ear infections is probably the, the thing that uh, we need to look back at. Um, difficult breathing. Tell us about the difficult breathing. Um, I mean, I don't, I can't tell if it's allergies or sinus issues, um, but yeah, sometimes I just randomly, it feels like I'm having a panic attack. Um, I'll be sitting in my car and I'm driving, all of a sudden it's hard to breathe. Um, and I'm trying to check if it's like dust or something, but then I'm like, no, I feel like it's like hard for air to come through my heart and my lungs. So sometimes I get that. Um, it used to be more frequent in the beginning of all of this, uh, but it's kind of calmed down since I started working out. Um, but still, it's still there sometimes. I just, yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Anything else you wanna share? Um, yeah, you guys don't follow MDs. <laughs> just, you guys, I, I, didn't say this. I know a lot of you depend on westernized medicine, but I really implore everyone to go out, think outside of that. Um, you don't need a pill to <laughs> fix all of this. Sometimes you need to go more of a holistic approach. So don't let anyone tell you that you have to depend on only your MD doctor because they don't always know everything. Um, and it turns out that it applies to me because they're trying to get me to go on these pills. They really tried really hard to get me on these anxiety pills. And I'm just like, dude, I was normal before all, before all of this, okay? So I want you guys to really just keep that in mind that you don't need to listen to your MD doctors, okay? Find something else. <laughs> <laughs> I love this girl, I swear. Yeah. Now tilt your head to the left. How much tension in your neck? About three. About three, tilt to the right now three or four. Gotcha. So we're going to test that afterwards. I hate doing that, but that's the test we're going to do. Now we're also going to test her hearing, which is equal right now. Eh, same. Same. Gotcha. Now we're going to keep it quiet in here. So come closer. Come closer. Keep it Shh. About two. Am I and she's, we're testing her hair uh, tinnitus. So she hears in her right ear a little bit more than her left ear. And it's about a two right now. Right. Okay, now we're going to test her vision. So she is looking at this chart right here. Okay, now you tell us what does that chart look like? Okay, so the chart looks like it's like moving. It's like like I'm almost like a dreamlike wave. It's doing this. Okay. It's very subtle. Like this a little bit? Slower. Wow, okay, so cool. Like that. Yeah, it's like that. 
Okay. How long have you been dealing with that? Since uh, March 2020. March 2020? Month after my hit my head. Gotcha. Okay, we can see our right occipital tilt here. The head's tilt to the right and 15 degree scoliosis. Here we have seven degree lumbar curve and constipation. Here is a pretty significant neck reversal at C3, really easy to see. And last one, sway back and constipation. Holy shit. <laughs> Is that like your doctor's adjustment? No. Oh, excuse my language, guys. <laughs> Holy your shit. Your eyes are like watering up too. Ooh. I'm not exaggerating, I promise. Wow. People are gonna think you're exaggerating. So how is that different? Give them the idea or tell them what it feels like. Precision. It's concise. It's oh, interesting. I appreciate it's, that. I, I don't, I can't describe other than that. Which one did you adjust? LC3. Wow. And so you went to what kind of chiropractor then? It was just a regular, regular like standard, full spine standard. Yeah. yeah, I was at the joint actually. The joint? Yeah. Oh, we love those guys. I have, uh, if you guys want to see my videos on that, I have playlists of those guys. They're really <laughs> great doctors. <laughs> I mean, it temporarily gave me relief, but yeah, long term, it, yeah. the pain always came back. So you've had many, several chiropractors work on you before. So in total, you're the fourth. Fourth. Yes. Gotcha. We call that body count. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? Chiropractic uh, count, right? No. Yeah. Body count. Got it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. I'm watching too much TikTok. Yeah, let this go. Oh, gosh, wow. Was that C3? C3, yeah. Maybe C4 a little on that side. Okay. Because I felt it when I was feeling your neck, I could feel the tension just a little bit lower. So I don't know if you felt me, I kind of dropped my finger a little bit. Okay. And that was quite an adjustment. Uh, I think we've made some changes and uh, I can't wait to hear what's going on. But first I'm reminding her not to twist and turn or she will undo my work. You know, when you wiggle around, what you do is you call on muscle memory to actually go backwards in time. So we're trying to get her just to let my adjustment settle in. So let's listen in to Miko and see how she's doing. I feel there's a lot less pressure in a certain area. I mean, I didn't realize how much pressure I had. Exactly. So when you tell me there's no pain, she tells me there's no pain, no pain, no pain. But she wouldn't be here if there wasn't some issues. The problem with her, this is why I knew it was an old issue, is because uh, she has had um, issues for so long, her pain threshold is way higher than most. Okay, just sending her down the hall to do a little recalibration. She is an athlete and she's flying. Okay, I'm curious, any of the vestibular stuff changed at all? Um, I'm, I'm looking really hard right now. No, take a look, take your time. Okay, I, I'm, I'm trying really hard to see if anything's moving. It doesn't look like it is right now. Hold yeah. on. Okay, it, it seems like things are moving, not really moving as before. I See, she works for a chiropractor. She's a chiropractic assistant, and she still wants to disbelieve that I've helped her that fast because it's been going on for so long. How can this schmo chiropractor in Southern California help me so quickly? She can't believe it either. And okay. she's trying. I still feel like my equilibrium is off. It's still moving, but visually it looks like things are not moving <clears throat> as much. Like Yeah, that visual, that um, feeling of unbalance is your body actually improving. So when I treat you, what I'm doing is I'm changing your vestibular system and that new balance feels odd at first. You have to get used to it. That's what you're feeling. Okay. Okay, stop. She's moving her head quickly around the room. She hasn't told me this yet, but she's moving it because she, she usually has this visual disturbance when she moves quickly. And so she's staring at things to see if she can recreate it, right? Yeah, um, so there is a little movement, but it's, it's... How much better will say, just in curious? Um, earlier, maybe it's like... 6% better, 70% better, 20% better, where are you at? I'd say about 30. 30? Right now. Yeah. Gotcha. And that's just because of disbelief right now, guys. But it'll get better. She needs to sleep. Once she gets some sleep, she'll, her body will set and we'll adjust her again in a couple hours and we'll see how she does after that. Okay. So, come closer. Good. Everybody quiet again. Let's listen to her ears. 
Still there. Still two. Still two? Yeah. Gotcha. Tinnitus is actually harder to get rid of, um, uh, but we want to see where it is. We're documenting what's going on. So step back, please. Okay, tilt to the right now. Oh, gotcha. So, one. Other way. How much tension in your neck? About three. Two. About three. Tilt to the right. Gotcha. So half of what it was. Yeah. Gotcha. About. Okay. So uh, anything else we checked? I think that was it. I want to check your hearing real quick. I'm only curious about this because usually tinnitus goes with hearing deficit. Deficit sometimes. Same. The same for right. Yeah. Okay. Good. So what do you think of your first um, experience with this adjustment system here? Freaking awesome. <laughs> I loved it. Oh my goodness. Shocking. Uh, I, I say maybe my body's still in shock. Yeah. And I'm still, you know, just like processing. Processing and just like yeah. hopefully, you know, obviously the fear is it, is it going to come back, right? Um, for me right now, I'm just processing it and I'm enjoying it. So I appreciate it. Yeah, no, no problem. So that's her first day. She's here for a two week program, guys. So by the time she's uh, done here, we'll be going through Atlas work. We'll be doing through more balance work. We'll change her posture. So watch her posture, turn to the side. See, look at how crappy this posture is, and she thinks it's awesome. And uh, you guys will see the difference. I'll do it before and after on this one. This is awful posture, and you guys all think right now, people who haven't watched my channel before, that's good posture, but we're gonna show you how bad it is, and she'll tell you how she feels after two weeks. Two and two. See you guys. See ya.